Welcome to the first law chat with me, your friendly local cat, Tagazio. Today's topic will be a somewhat controversial subject in Fallout lore. Who launched first in the Great War? Was it the United States? Was it China? Maybe it was vault -Tec. Maybe it was those nefarious Zadens. In fact, the matter was decided all the way back in 1998 in Fallout 2. When describing the Sino-American War, Enclave President Richardson unambiguously stated that it was the Reds who launched first. Those damned Reds who launched to spoil an imminent American victory hard fought from the Yukon to the Yangtze and the gates of Beijing. This seemingly clear answer was largely ignored by the fans at first, including the Fallout Vicky. The logic was sound. As the leader of a fascist jingoist faction, Richardson was an unreliable narrator at best, and he could not be a credible source. Some fans felt it was better left that way, due to the delightful ambiguity and moral grayness it introduced. Others felt it was ultimately a trivial detail of an ancient war, one that mattered very little, if at all, to the wasteland. The matter was not considered settled by Interplay, whose abortive Fallout movie script established the vault founder as responsible for triggering the Great War. And Fallout 3 did not provide clear answers either. In fact, Mothership Zeta, the fifth downloadable adventure, Included a holotape recording where an American officer is interrogated by the aliens for launch codes, raising the possibility of the aliens themselves launching the nukes in the Great War. Now, I personally believe that aliens launching the nukes runs counter to the core themes of the series and especially its arc words. War never changes. It is humans. Bethesda ultimately decided to confirm the facts laid out by Fallout 2 in 1998, as Fallout 4, released in 2015, featured the Switchboard, a defense intelligence agency underground base, which included automated monitoring stations that captured a detailed log of the events leading to the Great War, which left no doubt as to China as the origin of the first strike. The chaotic intro which showed the sudden, violent death of the old world and the American population rushing to nuclear shelters, that was just the cherry on top. Fallout 76, released in 2018, further confirmed that China was responsible for starting the Great War. After all, if the United States struck first, the Enclave and its members would have arrived at the White Spring safe and sound, rather than piecemeal and none would be lost to radiation poisoning or aqueous machinations. In fact, the United States had nothing to gain by launching a nuclear strike on China. After all, it won the conventional war, retaking Alaska and knocking on the gates of Beijing. Meanwhile, China had everything to gain, with everything lost and a decade-long war about to end with its, de with its defeat at the hands of a rapidly anti-communist superpower. Chairman Chang couldn't make the Chinese position any worse by launching nukes. But does that make him and China a villain? The great villain of the Great War, solely responsible for the nuclear holocaust? Now that, that is a question for another time, dear listener. <laughs>